The Obama administration just made a deal with Russia to end the violence in Syria. So is Donald Trump right about Vladimir Putin? I think I would have a very, very good relationship with Putin, and I think I would have a very, very good relationship with Russia. A beautiful part of getting along. Russia wants to defeat ISIS as badly as we do. If we had a relationship with Russia, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could work on it together and knock the hell out of ISIS? Well, on that, on that count, perhaps. But what about other counts? Our next guest says not so fast. Joining us now is the chairman of the Homeland Security Committee, Texas Congressman uh, Michael McCall, who was just here for marking 15 years since the 9-11 attacks and stuck around to talk to us. Are you, are you okay with Donald Trump's stance with Putin? Uh, what he just said. Well, I was with uh, uh, Donald Trump uh, yesterday at the memorial service, a removing service. Um, I would urge caution on this one. I do think he's right that we have common interest with Russia as it goes to uh, ISIS. Uh, if, if they're willing to strike ISIS in Syria, great. Uh, so far, they've been hitting rebel forces more than ISIS, propping up Assad. I think Russia is in there for another reason, and that is to stabilize uh, Syria to Assad's advantage and to Iran's advantage. So we have to be careful about this. But I do think there is an opportunity to provide safe havens and go after ISIS. And, um, you know, Reagan talked about peace through strength. That, that's how we need to deal with Mr. Putin, strength uh, through the military, strength in diplomacy. And uh, I, think, uh, I think Donald Trump does understand that. Have we shown that strength to Russia? No, of course not. And I think the Obama administration has only shown weakness. And we all know weakness invites aggression. Uh, and that's why he's been so aggressive against the Ukraine and the Baltic states and Crimea. And do you feel as though the worst could be yet to come in the months remaining in the Obama administration as we see Iran act up, North Korea act up, another nemesis is Russia, and we also know Ukraine is looking wearingly, wondering if we're going to truly help. And don't forget China and the South Pacific. They are all testing us. Uh, they know this president's weak. He's not going to respond. And this is where, again, weakness invites aggression globally, not to mention Mrs. Clinton's failed foreign policy, creating instability in the Middle East and Northern Africa, which has led to the modern day creation of ISIS. Yesterday was the first time he had a chance to mark uh, 15 years. As chairman of Homeland Security, I'm sure it's vital to see it up close and personal. What's your take about what took place 15 years later and what exists downtown? Very moving experience. Uh, every prior uh, New York police chief was there. You had all the mayors there, governors. You had, for the first time, the two presidential candidates were actually there. I was uh, more on the Trump side of the aisle. And, of course, Hillary Clinton was there, and she left a little bit early from the service. <clears throat> but you look at a different threat today than we saw before 9-11. It's evolved. Uh, greater use of the Internet, exploiting the Internet to radicalize individuals in the United States. But I would say we're still in the highest threat environment since 9-11. Right now? Right now. So for those who say we're safer, you can't say that. It's a different threat. I think we're safer in the sense we've built an apparatus of security with airlines, with sharing intelligence, and that sort of thing. But in terms of uh, the numbers, uh, Brian, just the sheer numbers have gone up of plots against the United States, of arrests in yeah. the United States, uh, over 100 ISIS followers, and thousands of investigations. Chairman of uh, Homeland Security, a vital uh, position here in Congress. Uh, Michael McCall, thanks so much. Thanks, Great Brian. to see you. Appreciate it.